Good morning guys, welcome back to another Vlogmas video. Today is Saturday, December 16th, and I'm getting ready to go to the mall. I don't know why I'm going to the mall because it's gonna be so crowded, but me and my friends always do holiday shopping together. We always take a day to go to the mall during the holiday season and just hang out, get some coffee, get lunch, and then try to do some holiday shopping. I don't know how much holiday shopping I will get done because it will probably be really crowded and I'll probably just end up getting the majority of my gifts online, but I just like to go for the fun of it. We really wanted to have a mall day, um, just like spend a day at the mall, doing all the things I just said. We used to always have mall days and we loved them so much. We would go to the movies because uh, the mall has a movie theater and we would just like make a whole day out of it. I don't think we're going to go see a movie today, but we're going to just meet up for a few hours, hang out, try to get some shopping done. So I'm going to just do a really light kind of natural makeup look today. Okay, before I continue this video, I just need to address something really quickly. So I just got a comment on... One of my videos, it was the video where I announced my giveaway winner and someone commented alleging that I messaged them and let them know that they were the winner and that I charged them $20 and then another $25. They were just saying all that stuff. So I just needed to put that out there that that was not me. And this is also a reminder for just everyone in general when you're entering giveaways online, on Instagram, on YouTube, anywhere online, you have to be really careful because there's a lot of scammers out there and I think that person got scammed unfortunately I hate that that happened but I just had to put that out there in case some people don't know that this is my only YouTube channel I don't have any other YouTube channels my only Instagram account is linked in the description of all of my videos and my only TikTok account is also linked in all of my videos in the description so if you get a message from someone that's pretending to be me like just check the account make sure that that is not me but also I would never ever ever charge anyone for a giveaway, no one should. If you are being charged for a giveaway you won, you're being scammed. So please don't respond to any fake accounts. Um, I already messaged that person um, separately and I left a comment like explaining what happened. I feel so bad because that's one of my viewers and I don't want them to be scammed by someone pretending to be me. So yeah guys, just please be very careful on the internet and I just had to throw that out there that I would never ever charge for a giveaway. And I feel like that's happening a lot lately, like people are getting scammed and like just weird messages and it's not even just on the internet, it's like phone calls too. I've heard so many stories of people getting scammed um, with phone calls and like people making them buy gift cards or stuff. There's just a lot of scary stuff going out there going on out there so along with giveaways just in general please be very very careful on the internet do not respond or send any money to anyone you don't know so yeah I just wanted to address that really quickly um but yeah so today yeah I'm just gonna go to the mall we'll probably go for a couple hours and then I'm gonna come back I don't have any plans tonight last night was really fun um if you guys missed that vlog you should definitely go watch it I went out with my family for my dad's birthday and it was so much fun i wish i vlogged more because my mom is so funny like i don't know if you guys saw her posing <laughs> in front of all those lights and i also posted on my instagram she was having a blast she's so funny um but yeah we had a really great time and then so yeah i didn't really feel like doing anything tonight because i just want to stay home i need to start watching the crown because the crown uh the the new episodes are out now um the like remaining episodes of season six and then this is the last season and that's it oh my gosh can't believe it i love that show so i think my plans for tonight are to come home wrap some more gifts hopefully i can find gifts at the mall today yeah wrap some gifts have a nice dinner at home and then watch the crown from the couch all night long and then maybe start packing uh or start planning out my outfits for new york because we are leaving in two days. Or I'll probably just do all the packing tomorrow. We don't really have anything planned tomorrow. I'll just watch football and we'll be home. So, yes, I'm so excited for next week. And then the day after we get back from New York, I'm having a Friends Miss Christmas party here at home. All my friends are going to come over. We're going to wear our Christmas PJs, have some Christmas snacks and drinks, watch Christmas movies, play games. It'll be fun. I raved about this mascara in yesterday's vlog. I'm so obsessed with the Armani Beauty mascara now. Dang. Oh my gosh, I am running behind. I'm always 
running behind. I told my friends I have to meet them at the mall because I already knew I was going to be late. Leave a comment below. Have you gotten all your holiday shopping done yet? I feel like no one has. It gets harder each and every year. I don't know what is changing, but I feel like people are getting their presents a lot later. I wonder if it's because with the rise of Amazon Prime, everyone doesn't feel the need or the rush to go out and get gifts because of like fast Amazon shipping. And also God bless all of you Amazon, UPS, FedEx, all of you workers in that field. Thank you so much for your service because, oh my God, I can't imagine how hectic this time of year is for deliveries. I really want wanted to like leave a little cart outside my door with snacks and drinks like you know how people leave those carts outside of their front doors for the delivery workers but my apartment doesn't allow that they don't even allow mats like the door mats they don't allow anything outside your door so one day when i have a house or if i live in a place that allows that i will definitely do that because they deserve it but also on amazon speaking of that you can tip your drivers on amazon prime don't forget to do that with your deliveries. Um, when you get the notification, I believe that says your delivery has gotten delivered, it gives you the option to tip your drivers and it's at no charge to you, so might as well. Don't forget to hit that and tip your drivers, tip your DoorDash people, Uber Eats, everything, tip guys. I love this blush color, it's from Bare Minerals. It is the shade But First Coffee. It's a super dark color, like it almost looks like a bronzer. But it's a really pretty deep kind of plum color i love it okay so while we're here we're gonna open up the advent calendars and i again believe i am behind um i think i need to open up t until day 18. so i did 15 i need to do 16 17 and 18. so nespresso first day 16 is our r and i never heard of this one before it is a five ounce huh is that one of the regulars? Because I've never seen that before. But I'll definitely give that a try. And now 17, we have Bianco Doppio for milk. This is one of my favorites. Oh, I love, 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 love this pod. It's a double espresso. And I always pour it over milk, usually when I make my iced coffees. And you add like some almond milk to it and a little bit of creamer and it's so yummy. Day 18 is Costa Rica. I've tried Costa Rica before. Really, really good. Okay, so I'm trying to think because day 19, will I be here? Because if we're going to New York, okay, let's see. This is today 18. Okay, tomorrow I'm going to open day 19, and then I'll probably open the rest when I get back from the trip. So, okay, next up we got MAC. 16 is, whoops, oh, a lipstick. It is a Sea Sheer lipstick in the shade 520. Look at this packaging, first of all. Their lipsticks are usually matte, but this is like a kind of shiny lipstick. I love that. And then the color, beautiful. Looks like a kind of strawberry red. Very beautiful. This looks like a shade I would love. Day 17 is, ooh, what is this? It's a Spice World Velvet Blur Slim Stick Lipstick in the shade Spice World. Oh wow, I love that shade. Brown, very mauve -y. beautiful. Guys, I'm telling you, this MAC advent calendar, it's all full-size products, 95%. Like and I'm so obsessed with everything that I've opened so far. And lastly, day 18 is another eyeshadow. And this one is in the color Burn. I opened one a few days ago that was a more uh, taupey color, so that might be good together. Okay, so that's all. Caught up with MAC. Now, L'Occitane 16 is, oh, what's that? Manicure nail file. <gasps> I need a new nail file. That is so cool. Just a nail file. 17 is, looks like a lotion. It is, yep, a body lotion. And now day 18 is a Proactive Youth Skincare. Oh, it's an eye contour, eye cream. Helps to reduce the appearance of dark circles. All right, that's all for L'Occitane. And lastly, Wise Old Beauty 16. Feels like a full-size product. It is a perfume. 
I'm assuming it's a um, cologne. Yeah, it smells like a cologne. Let me spray this. Mmm, that smells nice. This is the cologne. I like how it's like a really good size, so we'll give that to Asha. 17. Ooh, cute little box. It's a it's a face and neck cream. I love the little red packaging. Mmm, smells good. That's what that looks like. Has anyone tried Cell's skincare before? Because I have not. And last but not least, day 18. Oh my gosh, another lipstick. They've been including a lot of full-size lip products. This is another oil and stick in the shade 150. Another kind of like strawberry pink or red, brick red kind of color. Beautiful. Alrighty, that is all for the advent calendar segment. Doing comfy casual outfit today. My Zara gray bomber jacket and then the long sleeve tees that I was raving about in my current favorites video. If you watch that video, I'm wearing the black one. I wear this literally like two or three times a week now. So I have that on. I get really hot when I shop, so I'll probably be taking the jacket off. That's why I wanted to wear a light jacket so I don't get too hot. My Louis Vuitton Alma BB bag. I haven't worn this in a while, but it's a really nice like everyday bag because it holds a lot. And I like to wear crossbodies when I go shopping because I need to be hands-free as possible. And then I'm wearing some black Abercrombie jeans and then my mini Uggs again. So that's the OOTD. I'm trying to be comfy. Hey guys, so I'm at the mall. I'm waiting for my friends to get here, but I just wanted to pop in because I got an update about the fake comment and like scammers. So also PSA, if you didn't know, there are so many scammers on YouTube that will leave comments, like they'll reply to your comments. If you commented on a YouTube video, these scammers will make fake YouTube channel accounts with the same exact profile photo of the YouTuber, the same name, like it literally looks like it's their account. But when you go to click on their channel it's like there's zero videos they're scammers so basically what the scammers do is they go on videos and whoever has left a comment in the video they'll reply to each and every comment saying you won my giveaway you won my giveaway please contact blah 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 and then they'll ask you for money so that's i think what happened to the person who left me the comment so just psa guys please be careful there are so many scammers it's not just my channel it's so many channels i see it everywhere it's really, really, really frustrating. I wish YouTube would, would do something about it. I went back on my giveaway video just to see where the comment was, and I saw that the account was banned. So that's good, but it's too little too late. Someone like fell for it, and I apologize. I feel so bad. It's just so frustrating that these accounts are just able to be made and um, that the comments are up for that long. I did not see those comments. If I saw them, I would have banned the account right away, but I just didn't catch it. It's just been so crazy hectic, and I barely have time to look at comments with like everything going on. So again, I'm sorry to the person that um, that happened to, but guys, please be careful. Do not give money to anyone online. Even if you think it's a, a an influencer that you know, don't give them money, please don't. So yeah, just an update. I was really, um, upset over that earlier because I don't like when things like that happen like I just feel so bad for people that are affected and I hate scammers and I hate people that are impersonating me I low-key am thinking about getting the blue check mark on Instagram because that's happened a couple times on Instagram too where people make fake accounts of me but my YouTube channel is verified so if there's no little check mark next to someone's YouTube username they are not verified and most of the youtubers that you watch are verified so my name, every time I comment, has a little, it's like a little gray check mark. It's highlighted with a gray check mark. So if you don't see that next to my name, that's not me. This is my only channel. So, okay, guys, enough of that. So I am waiting for my friends. We always run late. We said we were going to meet here at 1.30. It's 1.57. I barely found parking. It is a hot mess here. And it's just really, really crowded. I literally was about to turn around and go home. I, I called my friends. I was like, guys, if I don't find parking, I'm going to go back home. But I surprisingly found parking. So I'm going to probably go in because I have to use the bathroom. But let's do this, guys. Me and Ida are overstimulated in the mall. So we don't know what we're doing. Kelsey's getting her eyebrows done. Look at her. Look at, look at her. Yes, girl. Kelsey. Look at her. Look at her smiling. Kelsey. That's a mask. Why is it? That's kind of scary. Yeah, it's Santa. What does it feel like? 
Ooh, those are kind of cute. What does it smell like? Mm, cucumber. Oh. And basil. <laughs> you look like a housewife. Oh, I'm exhausted. I got a flatbread pizza with a salad. Mm -hmm. I better be delicious. I only got that so I can eat light and have a cheesecake afterwards. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers to the holiday season. Christmas. Christmas. Hi guys, I'm back home from the mall. I don't know what it is, but the mall just tires me out. I am so exhausted. Sorry, I'm just trying to figure out the lighting. Which today? Bright or dark? I don't know. We'll just keep it like that. That's fine. Okay, so yeah, I went to the mall because I was trying to find gifts for people, but I couldn't find any gifts. I feel like I do a lot better shopping online because I can see everything displayed on the screen all at one time and I can take my time, but when I'm in the store, I get very overstimulated. Me and my friends kept saying how overstimulated we were. Like when we were walking around in the mall, we were just like looking around and very distracted and I don't know what it is. We never used to be like that, but now we are. So anyway, um, I did pick up a few things for myself. I went to Zara and I picked up some things. And surprisingly, the crowds were not that bad. The line for Zara usually is like out the door, but it really wasn't bad today. So anyway, I picked up, this is like the main thing I picked up that I'm so excited about. And I'm still trying to decide if I want to keep it or not because it was pricey and I'm not completely sure if I love this style, but I've been looking for something like this for a long time. It's been on my list of things that I want to get. So I picked up a little faux fur black jacket and it's kind of like mid-length. It covers my butt, but it's not that long. I was trying to decide if I wanted a long black fur jacket or a short one. So this is kind of like in between. Um, but I love the style of it. I just don't know if it's too big or too bulky, but I mean, it is a fur jacket, so I guess I want it to be kind of bulky, but okay, let me stand up and give you a look, a better look. But yeah, here's the jacket. I don't know. I don't know if I like it. I just feel like it's really bulky. It doesn't have any butt buttons or zippers. It's just kind of like plain open like that, but I don't know. Um, I think it's cute, but I think I like it compared to most jackets that I was seeing online This is a little bit on the lower side, even though it was expensive. This was hundred and eighty dollars I believe so yeah, that's the biggest thing that I got today So I'll see if I like that I'm gonna style it with some more outfits and then I just got two more things. They're the same exact thing They're just plain long sleeve t-shirts. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I really like my long sleeve tees um, just to wear for everyday basis and can wear it under jackets under clothes because I feel like in the winter time your outfit is your jacket like you know having a statement jacket is what completes the outfit and doesn't really matter what you wear underneath it does matter but for me it doesn't really I could just wear a long shirt like this anyway I love the color of this long sleeve top it's ribbed and I just love the kind of like destroyed um, kind of like an acid wash material so very cute, very stretchy. I got size medium and this was $25. And then I got the same one, but in this kind of like bone white color or is it gray? I couldn't tell in the store if it was gray um, or like a kind of ivory bone color. So yeah, that's all I got today at the mall. And then we went to Cheesecake Factory. I love the Cheesecake Factory. I love their humongous oversized menu and all their foods and drinks but I tried to be healthy today I got the Tuscan chicken and uh, that was part of the skinny skinnylicious uh, menu and then I got a cosmopolitan which is also on the skinny skinnylicious menu so I brought leftovers home and that's gonna be my dinner so yeah I need to wrap some gifts tonight so I'm probably gonna do that now I did do some shopping yesterday and I got a few online orders in today so we're gonna do some gift wrapping tonight then I'm gonna just chill out and watch the crown maybe pour a glass of wine because it's Saturday night oh yeah I also wanted to show you guys this I did yeah get some packages in the mail today so I got like gifts in the mail that I ordered and then I also got these little furry faux fur headband like kind of hat ear cover things whatever you want to call it 
So yeah, I got them to potentially wear in New York. And then also Ida, who she was in the vlog today, you guys know Ida. Her 30th birthday is coming up in February and we are going to Chicago for her birthday. We've never been to Chicago and we've always wanted to go. And we just wanna do the whole like winter snow buddies in the city type of vibe and wear like our faux furs and just dress bougie and go to nice cute dinners in the city. So I can potentially wear that there too. So it came in a set of two for I believe $17. This is the first one and I like the color. I don't know, sometimes I feel like I have a weird head shape so things look weird on my head. But I'm kind of digging it. I think I just have to like fluff it out because it was like suctioned in this package in the shape of it's weird but I kind of like it. Oh, that's so cute. And then it also came with a black one and you can choose what color combo you want. I think they also had a white one and a black one and then a brown one, like a darker brown one. So, okay, here's the black one. Again, I'll just like zhuzh it up a little bit. Oh, I wonder what that'll look like with the new jacket I got today. Let's try it. Who? What do we think? I look like someone's bougie grandmother, which is what I technically am. I feel like I am a grandma because I'm so tired all the time. I'll link these in my description. $17 for these two. I'll also link the jacket and the shirts. I'll try to find them on the Zara website and link them if you guys are interested in those. Mm -hmm. 